Hi everyone, welcome back to Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. Once again, this is your host Iggy and today I'm presenting to you figures by Toy Soldier San Diego and a Tiger II tank uh, brought to us by New Ray Toys. Now, first up, let's talk about, well, let's talk about the Tiger. Now, this has, there was two different types of turrets that were developed for the Tiger II, and, or sometimes referred to as the King Tiger, and, or Koenig, Koenig's Tiger. And there was a Henschel and Porsche. And this particular turret, I believe, is a Henschel. And the reason they developed this style turret is because the first Tiger did not have the sloped armor that was so successful for the Panther in deflecting shells that hit it obliquely. And so they developed this turret, and there was two companies uh, competing to get, and uh, so I believe it was Porsche that on their own developed, <laughs> I don't think they got the contract, but they did made a, a number of turrets that were eventually used. Now the tank was introduced for the Ardennes Offensive in December of 1944. It had an 88 uh, barrel on it. Um... I think inside the turret, on either side of the uh, turret, they had uh, like 26 rounds or no, 22 ready for use rounds mounted on uh, 11 per side. And the, the Tiger had a tendency to, for its wheels to freeze, its road wheels to freeze, so they uh, did some development on that to, and introducing rubber on the road wheels to prevent the wheels from freezing together. Um, you can see here it's got track attached to the turret, which served two purposes. If they, uh, if they had their uh, track damaged by a, a landmine or a bazooka, uh, they could replace the part of the track that was damaged, but also it served to uh, thicken the armor on the sides of the turret. Of course, the thickest part of the armor was in the front. I think they call that the glacis. I'm not sure, but anyway. Uh, another development was the pig snout or Zauerkopf. Oh, I'm not sh sorry. Zauer is sour. Uh, Zau, Zaukopf, pig's head. And uh, this particular model was built by New Ray Toys. It should give us some indication of that here on the back. Let's take a look. Can you see it? My eyes are so bad. It says made in China. It doesn't give a year. That's too bad. But this is new Ray Toys. And this was originally motor, uh, motorized. If you can... God. Sorry, guys. Uh, you can see there's a battery compartment there. And there was a switch in the back of the tank right here. And what's fun about it is when you turn it on, it actually sounds like a real tank moving along on its tracks. Uh, the one difficulty with it is it could only go forward. So you wouldn't be able to turn it to the left or the right or in reverse. So you'd have to get up off the floor and go fetch it before it ended up in the kitchen. The trees you see in the background are marks uh, they're original trees, and one of the difficulties of original marked trees is they do this. Snapped right in half. They get brittle over time, especially if they're in storage, that the temperature changes affects the plastic in a negative way. 
The other trees you see here are barzo. And the barzo trees came four per a package. I was surprised to see that I had uh, eight of them. I don't remember buying. I thought I remember buying one package at the West Coaster, but I don't recall buying two. So um, I don't know. I have to look at my book that shows everything I bought. I probably bought two at the same time. So that's trees. In the background is an illustration of a interior of the tiger. And you can see the rounds that I had mentioned on the side there. Must have been really difficult for the loader to get the rounds on the other side of the turret. But at any rate, so we got there. And this illustration is in a book called Land Power. And uh, it's got a lot of articles about armor in World War II. And also uh, it has stories about World War I. In fact, I read about Rommel's experiences uh, during the, the war in Romania uh, in this book. And I found that very interesting. So I ended up buying and reading his book which they used at, at their school in Germany called Infantry Attacks. And uh, I enjoyed reading that as well because he talks about Italy also and the Western Front. So let's look at our figures. These are called Long Coat Germans by Toy Soldier San Diego. I'm not sure when they were pro produced. Was it 2005? 2005. Okay. So let's take a look at these are excellent, by the way. I'm sure you can see that there. Let's move the light a little bit so we can get. There we go. It comes uh, eight different poses and two per pose. Oh, I propose to pro pro two pose. Never mind. I can tell I'm not doing too well today, guys. My blood sugar is really high today. I don't, I woke up, it was almost 400. I don't know why. Anyway, it's probably the grapes I ate last night. And then, of course, we have the hand grenade thrower. And the rifleman. And this is a sniper. I called uh, one of these figures a sniper. And this guy that used to come into Walmart, he got really mad at me. They said he's not a sniper, he's a shootist. And he wouldn't leave me alone about that. I don't know why he got so angry. He was sort of a scary dude, too. He had uh, served in Vietnam. Had some wild stories to tell, though. And, he, and the guy should have written a book. He knew everything about the Old West. He really should have written a book, but unfortunately died at the age of 70. So he was quite young. This figure here, he's been shot. And you can see that he's leaning back word so that's a pretty cool pose all the poses are very good this guy here looks like he's standing at the corner of a building trying to look around the corner and then we have this guy charging with an mp40 now some of these figures of course need the hot water treatment like this one this one back here this one is the most severe as is this one here but that's easily repaired with the hot water treatment So in today's video, I'm presenting you with Barzo and Mark's Trees, a new Ray 
Tiger 2 and Toy Soldiers San Diego Long Coat Infantry. Now, Toy Soldier San Diego is not making these anymore, but I think uh, a company called McShawn's Closet took over for them because, um, gosh, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure the family would like me saying this, but anyway, let's just say there was health issues. I, I don't want to intrude on their privacy because they suffered a tragedy. Anyway, I used to talk to the uh, two of them at the West Coast or they were both extremely nice. And uh, I was I felt lucky that I got to meet them. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. I'm going to try and post it tonight, but my new phone takes three hours to upload a video. There's got to be something wrong with this phone to, to, to take that long. My old phone uh, took like 20 minutes. Anyway, that's it for Iggy today. Thank you for getting Iggy with it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Iggy's got to know that he's not all, all alone. He's not out in the wilderness talking to himself. Well, maybe he is. I don't know. Uh, I'll see you back at the ranch. Thank you for coming along, though. I always appreciate it when you guys visit. So take care of yourself, and I'll see you with the next video. I got a lot of videos coming up, by the way, because I have a whole bunch of stuff that I found, and it's not even complete yet. I still have a long ways to go. I'm trying to hurry because um, time is running out, and I want to make sure it all gets film before the end okay guys that's it you take care of yourselves all right bye now oh wait i should say guten abend alles mein kameraden adios amigos